Sorry about that, babe. All right, guys, welcome back to Bits Plays Final Fantasy 2 on the Famicom slash NES. This is part 15, I'm pretty sure. I just had to double check because actually I flubbed that up in one of my plates. <laughs> okay, yeah, part 15. Um, in the last part, we returned to Altea. Unfortunately, the king passed away. Um, we lost a party member. We gained a party member in Layla who tried to double cross us. She was in the village of Palm and offered to give us a... Uh, a ride on her boat, and a bunch of pirates jumped us, we killed them. For some reason we let her jo join us right after. Uh, we sailed the high seas, and then we went to the Dist Castle, uh, where we are now on the search... Holy shit! I don't know if you guys heard that, it's thundering and lightning outside. Hopefully the power doesn't go out here. Uh, also, where's my phone, in case the entire house wakes up? Uh, I might be summoned. You know, little kids, right? They get scared of thunderstorms. Anyway, um, yeah, but we're on the search for a pendant, which allegedly is in the disc cave to the north. So let's get started. And one fucking step. Just like that, this fucking game. And we're ambushed. Unreal. Thank you. Jiminy Crickets. Just when I start softening up on this game, you know what I mean? Pulls me right back in in the wrong way. <clears throat> so we equipped the uh, less accurate bow to an Ida again. Just gonna give it one more go. We'll see what happens. Hmm. It's supposed to be a lot stronger than that, Oneida, you fuck. Thanks to you, we get nowhere. I actually need to level up Layla. Mm. I think what I'll do probably is I'll level her up maybe after this part of the playthrough, or we'll just drag her along and she'll be weak as hell. Who knows? Because quite frankly, the leveling up in this game is very boring. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of it, so. Ooh, it's pouring outside right now, man. It is pouring. Oh, and I think the windows are open upstairs. Fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed that I'm not summoned. But it is very possible that I get summoned. Weather's been so weird here lately. Yeah, saw that coming, huh? What are these? These are like the icicles, but... No longer of the frozen variety, huh? Stalactites. Ooh, they got some tough defense. Goodness. Or not, never mind. <laughs> I, I still love the random, like, really weak hits from people like Leboshi and Bits out of nowhere. It always makes me laugh. Yeah, Layla is uh, dead weight, currently. The only good news is if she survives, uh, her HP will clearly go up this fight, so. If she survives. Come on, Oneida. Give me a good shot here. Well, I blinded the enemy, so I guess it's better than nothing. Really? Gotta be hanging on by a thread at this point. Well, I guess not. Wow, this thing's a tank. Luckily, Bits' new sword is, like, literally freaking amazing. Which reminds me, I probably need a good axe soon for Leboshi. Layla's HP went up slightly. Nothing really to write home about, in my opinion, but... Um, that being said... Let's heal her up. Take a couple steps and save! Alright, time to head into the cave. Let's find this pendant, shall we? Does this stuff hurt me? No. 30 gil. Okay. Okay. I mean, I'll take it. Alright. No, well, I guess... Mm, go this way? Holy fucking shit. And we're ambushed. 
Like I mentioned, guys, I read online about the ambush. Apparently this becomes a thing pretty quickly, if not right now. And our entire party is going to get fucking blinded, right? Because that's just how this game is. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. I'm sure Oneida will be missing, so I'll have to uh, switch that up. I mean, these fights wouldn't be bad if you didn't get ambushed, but clearly the uh, the developers had devious intentions in order to make things artificially harder. You will be ambushed, and then you will be status affected, and no questions asked. Okay, just how it is. I'm gonna have to, uh, cure everybody afterwards, unfortunately. Or heal would be the actual correct term. <clears throat> Come on, Oneida. Let's end this fight, please. Uh, well, we blinded the enemy, but... Another turn. I'll look at it positively, right? It's uh, one extra attack for our our weapon level up. <clears throat> Lots of gill there. Oh, unfortunately, we have to dive into our healing bucket. Eh, one MP. I guess I can't complain too much, right? What the fuck would, like, hypothetically heal level 2, what would that even do? Because if, if all it does is this, then I don't want to waste any more MP, <laughs> you know what I mean? Seems like it would be sort of a waste. Are you... kidding? Are there really Gyguses in here? Oh no. How are we gonna do this? Can I run? Oh my god, we're gonna get wiped out. We're gonna get fucking wiped out. I did not mean to do that. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna start spamming magic, I mean... Because the physical attacks aren't reliable. And that doesn't do much. That does, actually. That does level the playing field a little bit, but these are still tough fights, dude. Yeah, I was gonna say, Layla's gonna die every time, man. Hmm... I might have to level Layla up before we get through here if this is gonna be the, the norm, I guess. You know? Thank goodness this sword, though, for bits, man. Yeah, we desperately need a new weapon for, Lobo uh, for Loboshi. Oof! Oh my god, dude, if this is gonna be random encounters in this fucking dungeon, we're... <laughs> we're gonna be in for it. Oh, I don't want to do that again. Don't target him, target this guy. Come on, Bits, we need you to keep hitting. Oh, boy. Hmm. Get a little sketchy. But I'm going to continue on with uh, fighting the good fight, if you will. Um, if we can just kill this one Gygus, I'll feel a little bit better. Good. Fortunately, we just wasted some MP on the air. And Bits is almost dead. That's not good. Uh, so we're going to have to attack with Bits. We're going to have to use Cure. And then we're gonna, uh, just try to fight, I guess. Wanna save some MP for Leboshi, even though he's only hitting three. Goodness. Now let's cast fire. Uh, probably gonna cure 
Haboshi's kind of useless right now, actually, <laughs> until he gets a better axe against these tougher enemies, at least. Ooh, good fucking thing I cured him twice in a row. Or else we'd be in for a world of hurt. Um, okay, so in that instance, we're gonna do a double cure. And hope that we get both of them off. Just in case the game decides to... Target bits. Boshi. Yeah, this is, um, this is not cool, man. And you better hope I'm going the right way. I just thought about that, too. What if I'm not going the right way, man? This can't be fun. I'm still torn. Is this a random encounter, or is this an encounter, um, before these stairs? You know? Like, look how long this is taking. Come on, now. This is nuts. I need bits to get, like, a big chunky hit. Still not dead. Wow. Holy shit. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna be really risky here. Well, that's good. Well, we should get HP upgrades for Bits and Leboshi, I would assume. Bits, MP up, MP up, HP up, nice. Wow. That is freaking scary, my man. And we are running out of MP. <laughs> See, if we could find some kind of axe for Leboshi, that fight actually won't be bad at all. But, in its current state, yeah, it's a little rough. A little rough. Alright. I think I'm gonna just use my consumables at this point. Wait, do I have any more? Oh no, that's right. That's right. Hmm. Uh, I would have to sail somewhere. To sell this shit. Fucking hell, man. Um, is there anything that I could just drop right now? I have no idea what the uh, Elder IQ Unicorn and Heart are, so I guess I'll drop an eye drop. Because I do need to find the um, pendant. Which is hopefully right here. <laughs> Fucking hope so. Um,. And I'm gonna cast Exit, then, for sure. Alright. Fingers crossed, guys. It's the corpse of the Dragoon. The pendant was beside him. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Let's confirm that we have said pendant. Nice, we do. Um, and let's cast Exit. Cool. That's fine with me. We will utilize Cure. Uh, pretty much across the board, actually. Because my goal right now... Is I'm probably gonna try to sail and sell a bunch of stuff, because I need to clear some inventory space. Because I'm gonna end up having to clearly go back to this cave. Um, and I don't want to get... Wiped. First of all. So I want to rest at the inn, but I also... Secondly... Um, want to clear up some space. So before... We do the pendant. I think that I am going to sail to Bothsk. Now the question begs, is my boat where I left it or does it follow me? That I don't know, so I'm gonna go back towards the northeast of this small continent instead of the southwest, which is where I'd have the quickest route to Bosk. So we shall see. And hopefully, above all else, that we don't actually lose access to uh, the boat. You know what I mean? Like one of those kind of like story things where I guess technically when I was on the warship, the game stranded me. It was like, eh, get through here or you don't. <laughs> oh, Layla's in the back row. I keep forgetting. Yo, these things are tanky. 
Every time I feel like I'm in a good place when it comes to uh, my damage output and stuff, it turns out I'm just not. Ugh. Well, we blinded the enemy. But can we just kill him, please? Alright, so we need to move Layla back up front. And let's check to see. Oh, yep, our ship is definitely gonna have to be exactly where we left it, which is totally fine. Can I save on the ship? I can. Perfect. Um, quickest way around, I think, unfortunately, is this way. Knew I was not gonna get out of it, but this is fine. As long as we don't encounter the friggin' sne uh, sea snakes. Because those things take, like, fucking nine hits or something, it seemed like. Well, actually, I take that back. I don't think I had this sword <clears throat> that Bits has previously. That's fine. Hey, I'll take hits to Layla as long as they're like that. That's some organic HP leveling. She is a weak link at the moment. Perhaps I should have uh, kept her in the back row and kept the Mithril shield, or um, not a shield, bow and arrow. Hmm. There we go, HP up. Let's go, baby. Alright, so we gotta go south a little bit. That's fine. Actually... Yeah, these fights will be less annoying, I believe. These fights will be less annoying, I say, as I get ambushed by a group of eight. So here's the funny part. These guys are gonna be fleeing, right? I'm gonna try to run, let's see what happens. Six of eight ran away from me. And these are enemies that I've encountered in the first hour. Okay, well, all right, finally. How fucking time, honestly. That might be like one of my first try runs I've ever had in this fucking game, dude. I'm gonna try to run away again. I'm getting ballsy. But that. Wow. Thank you, game. <clears throat> fucking finally. Alright. Let's sell shit first. We're gonna sell all those spell books. Uh, I don't know what it, half this stuff is, so... Oh, nice. Those are some of those expensive type books that I got earlier in the game, which helped me, uh... Get off the ground, so to speak. I do have the Mithril Bow. Hmm... Eh, I'll probably still keep her in the front row. Let's just sell it, fuck it. Um, I think I could sell this, and this, and this. Let's do a little bit of organization here. We have the Pendant. Mithril Sword I still need to sell. That was a mistake on my part. Gold Needle is a consumable. Don't know what any of those are. And I'm thinking about selling probably... Mithril Shield, Eye Drop, I'll keep an antidote, sure. Sell an Eye Drop. Sell that. Inventory looking a little bit cleaner. Okay. I like it. Let's rest at the inn. Ah, oh, then we need to head back to the uh, Dist Castle. <clears throat> and I'm currently pooping in my drawers thinking about encountering Gyguses everywhere. Hmm, real weird. Thanks a lot, game. We will attempt to run again, because uh, we are two for two. Let's make it three for three. Wonderful. Fucking finally. 
Finally, it's happened to me. Thank you, Jehazus. Appreciate it. Now, these enemies, I'm not going to try to run away from. Oh, these ones, though. <sighs> okay. We're fine. We are fine indeed. So, actually, let's cast ice on you. And hit you. And hit you. Nice, that sword's doing work, baby. I guess the real test would be if that sword could hit these guys, because earlier on, pretty much it was just magic that did anything against these guys. I'm curious. Layla potentially low-key getting that HP bump again. Love it. Okay, so we can hit these guys consistently now. Nice. So I did waste some MP there. Oh well. And we got a drop. Oh, a Mithril Shield. How about that? And a Sleep Spell. That presumably we could sell for maybe 4,000 again. Hello. Love it. Um. Ooh, she can't use the shield though. And neither can Oneida. So that actually fucking kind of blows. <laughs> it's actually not that good of an item drop because I literally like can't use half that shit. And it's just taking up inventory now. Which sucks. Anyway. Um, I will attack you. I will attack you. Leboshi will attack you. And we'll attack you as well. Strike first. Gotta love it. I love it. Thank you. Oop. Ooh, didn't kill that guy in one hit. Kind of sucks. Now we gotta deal with uh, the tanky stalactite in the back. With his 9 million HP. <clears throat> what are these, like, uh... Are these the old school inspirations for Metapod and Kakuna? Basically just defensive HP monsters that don't do anything? 374, though. Goddamn. And more drops. Another sleep spell. It's like I appreciate it, because that's a lot of money, but come on now. Alright, let's grab a save. I've learned my lesson so far in this game, man. I've gotten fucked by not saving a few times. Alright, let's head back to the uh, Hiryu room with the pendant. Have a little chit-chat. I won't live much longer. The poison is spread quickly. Well, what happens if I use the pendant? I can't use it? What the fuck? Uh, long before the war, one dragoon named Richard set out to find the Forbidden Magic Ultima. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, the pendant allowed me to understand it. Yes, 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 yes. Please hear my last wish. Submerge this egg in the spring of life in the northern cave. It's the only chance to save my race. Okay, so we got a egg, which is a important quest line item that we have to go back to the disc cave for, which again, very scared due to the, uh, the Gygus lurking. The other fights, I can handle. Encountering two Gyguses and potentially multiple times <laughs> Oh, probably a fucking mistake on my part, but uh, what do we got here item-wise? Our items are quickly filling up once again. Have very little in the way of consumables, aside from eye drops. Which is a little disappointing. So we will definitely save before this dungeon in case we get demolished. Um, well, you know what? We will push on a little bit. If I end up feeling like I need to kind of cut this, I will do so. 
but anyway. All right. Don't give me a fight as soon as I walk in. Oh no, ambushed. No? No, I'm not ambushed. Holy shit. Strike first even, wow. Thank you so much, game. some crazy thunder again shaking the whole freaking basement. <clears throat> part, part of me is like, fuck dude, maybe I should press the uh, stop recording button. Uh... You know what, guys? After this fight, I'm actually gonna do that. Because the power it sometimes does flicker in this house. And basically if I lose the footage, it kinda almost completely ruins the playthrough. So I will actually be back in probably like a second. All right, we are back. Uh, my fail safe to prevent a power outage in this house. Yeah, cause honestly guys, if the power went out, oh, we'd be in for it bad, honestly. There's really no way around it. I would just have to be like, so here's what we did. Or, I guess the alternative would be to play again. <laughs> Actually, no, I couldn't because I saved recently. Yeah. We'd be fucked. But I have to remember that I do want to kind of cut this off around the 15 minute mark. So. <clears throat> Let's heal Layla. Oh, nice. I wasn't expecting that, actually. Um, cure 1. Ooh, Cure 1 is about to be Cure 2. Look at that. Color me shocked that I actually didn't get into a fight there. Seriously, though. And I'm okay with that. So, from what I understand, the enemies are going to get a lot tougher down here, although this seems to be sort of a run-of-the-mill ambush. Wonderful. <sighs> it's not so much... the status effect itself from this fight, it's more so the aftermath. It's it's the having to freaking cure it that grinds my gears. Just almost like a borderline unnecessary step that I didn't want to have to take, you know? But luckily, the ghast uh, was a willing participant and decided to not ruin my evening. Alright. <clears throat> We will take it. Ooh, what do we got here? Potion! That's it. I got into another fight because of a potion. Don't ambush me, bro. Thank you. I'm actually pretty happy with the fact that uh, Layla seems to be leveling organically. Um, which would mean that, again, if she doesn't already friggin' leave my party after I'm done with the cave, which I have no idea, uh, I'll probably just level her up briefly offline. Which actually kind of works because... Ah! Um, let me think here. You know what? Fuck you guys. <laughs> uh, what I was gonna say is, you know, over the course of trying to level her up, obviously, I'll still be contributing to Bits Oneida and Loboshi as well. So that is always a good time in my book. Let's see how far we can get in this cave before we have to cut the footage. The bad part is, though, is even though I have to cut the footage, I can't save in the cave IRL, so. Mm. All 
Alright, so now... Crossing a bridge. Oh no. <laughs> and we're ambushed. Now Layla's gonna die if Layla gets fucking hit at all. Man, yeah, this fucking sucks. So... It's like, what do I do here? Like, can I run? Because... I, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like, like I have to fight them, you know? Which is obviously very unfortunate, but I think I have to. So I'm just gonna fucking go all out and hope that they miss me a bit, right? Big, uh, big MP drain in these fights. And it would take bits roughly eight hits on his own to take down one Gygus. And Layla is dead again. Yeah, these are not the encounters that you want to see down here. That's all I'm gonna say. Kinda wish that it was only one Gygus at a time instead of two. It'd make things a lot more manageable. See, this is the shit that I'm talking about. Like, did they think about this stuff when they made the game? I'm being honest, did they? Because I don't know. Like, what kind of difficulty, what in the difficulty spike is this shit? Honestly, think about it. I mean, the rest of the cave, for the most part, just has your, you know, run-of-the-mill enemies. Some of them are tough, yeah, but then out of nowhere, they're like, eh, you know what? Double Gygus. Fuck them. Fuck these guys. It's pretty, basically what they're trying to say. They don't give a shit. And now I'm sitting here having to drain my fucking MP. I don't know. I don't know. Guess I'll cast the cure here. Thank goodness for that sword, man. Ah, I just wasted fire on nothing. Feels pretty bad. Well, I guess I'll cast Bolt. I mean, I don't know. Eh, I'd appreciate it, guy, I guess, if you just keep missing. It'd be wonderful. Bits, I'm gonna need you to hit harder than that, buddy. It's not gonna work. It's a bad turn. Pretty much. Gonna have to cast Cure. Ay, ay, ay. I'm gonna have to, like, really chill out with the magic soon. Um... Well, honestly, if we get Gygus, um... Yeah, we might be heading to Reset Z again, guys. A crit is always good for almost 200 damage, but... Bits is being targeted. We need some, some slickness here from the crew. Oof. You know what, maybe it'll be beneficial for Bits to attack and then everybody else to try to run at this point. <laughs> Trapped. That's what I figured, but... Nobody else is doing anything unless they're using MP. And we're gonna have to cure Bits, unfortunately. Maybe we'll have a Leboshi run. Trapped. That is not a good hit, Bits. That's not a good hit, buddy. Ah, man. Well, I guess we'll try running again. Trapped. Good thing we've been curing Bits. Come on, buddy. Get a good hit. There we go. Oh, man. I better get some good stat upgrades for that shit. Hmm. One thing that we do have on our side is we should be able to warp out of this cave if we need to. Like, right now, it's starting to get a little sketchy, if we're being honest. <laughs> it's starting to get a little sketchy. So we're gonna have to cast Life. And as I suspected, we were, like, 
not really able to run away from the Giguses, unfortunately. And then let's use some of Bits's cure on himself. Or myself, I should say, right? Alright, as long as I have an exit plan, then I'm like, I'm okay. But if we get hit up with another Gigas, like, really quickly, uh, we're probably gonna have to retreat. Ugh, I fucking forgot Layla is in the back row again because she died. And with my luck, I'm about to get fucking fired across the board by all these guys. Ooh, the thunder is ripping outside, guys. Okay, so this is another instance of... Look how dreadful. Look how dreadful this is. Because not only am I eating a decent amount of damage, but I'm also just having to sit here, basically fall asleep. Oh my god. Of course I got fucking ambushed, right? Fucking course I did. I can't see myself making it through this cave. Did I Wait, what? Makes me want to fucking fall asleep. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't know. Running into the Gygus is pretty much completely just fucks my progress. <laughs> Am I just gonna have to pray to the RNG gods every time I go in here? Cause like, look. This fight was annoying as shit. I got ambushed, now I have to fucking heal people across the board, which is never good. Like, I have to be mindful of everything, basically. She doesn't know Cure, does she? Nope. Laboshi needs to have one MP to cast Exit. So I have to keep that in mind. Good enough for now, I suppose. Alrighty. Hmm. Oh. I was gonna try to gather my thoughts there, but the game had other plans. And we're ambushed, so that means that we're probably gonna get hit with Yep. Can I just, like, simulate to end when it comes to, like, group spells? Oh my god, it's so fucking slow, dude. Oh my god. I have such a love-hate relationship with this game. <laughs> I really do. Some stuff is just fucking annoying. Like, holy shit, man. And I fucking forgot to put Layla in the front row again! So she's not even gonna fucking attack. And Leboshi just attacked like a limp sausage. Oh my god, this is so fucking annoying. Oh, I can't take it, dude. I don't even have any comments at this point. Like, some of these... I don't know. What? Is this a different type of ogre? What the fuck is going on? Oh, it's a, it is a different type of ogre. Wow. Well... Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, probably just preemptively... Uh, exit.
exit out probably very soon. This is just going downhill very fast. I didn't realize how tough these enemies are. Again, this game just has no fucking logic behind progression. It just goes, eh, I'm just gonna turn the difficulty up on you, like, out of nowhere. It is one of the most, like, just rockiest, just not fucking smooth. That's honestly just, it's not smooth. At all. I have to sit here and pretty much just eat spell after spell. This fight's gonna take like fucking five minutes. It's not even a boss fight. Again, only bright side. Probably gonna end up leveling up my HP again, because I'm just getting demolished. <laughs> oh man. Oh, Layla might die actually, unfortunately. We're gonna have to pretty much one hit KO these wizards and hope Layla gets hit on a lower end here. Would've been real nice if I could've reached you guys from the start. Hey, blinded. Hey. You guys hear my enthusiasm? I mean, I gotta be real when I'm playing, right? I, I feel like every time this game gets me sucked back in, it just does something that just pisses me off. Thank you for the, uh, the pity, pity drops. Alright, well, let's kind of reevaluate here. Um... Yeah, we are not going through this cave, but... I will continue to push on just a little bit. At the, at the very least, we could loot, you know what I mean? So, let's just see. Maybe, maybe not. Oh my fucking god, don't you dare. And I fucking forgot to put her... Oh. I forgot to put her in the front row again, guys. I mean, that's on me. We're gonna have to eat a bunch of flames now. fucking game can suck my balls. I'm so sick of these slow fucking magic spells and how- oh my god. Please, thank you. I was gonna say, if I'm not a miss there, fuck dude. I don't even know what to say at that point. Because then I wouldn't- uh, well, guess it doesn't matter. I guess we're not fast enough. We have to sit through another fucking round of this. Is there any way to speed this up? Honestly. Oh my god. Can we just fucking end this, please? <laughs> Give me a break, dude. Huh. I don't even know 
where I am right now. For some reason I thought that I was... Gonna be closer to some stuff, but it wasn't. <laughs> hmm. Alright, well... Um, let me think. I think we got one more horrid encounter left in the tank before we have to retreat. Right? Sounds about right? <sighs> oh my god, I fucking forgot to put her in the front row again. Oh, I'm gonna be hanging. Well, let's take care of these guys first. Again, I do apologize, guys, for uh, complaining as much as I have been, but, I mean, I can't just sit here and be like, Oh yeah, this game's fucking great, you know what I mean? Like, if I'm not enjoying it completely, I'm gonna voice it. I am curious, what is Hellfire? God damn it, I don't have enough room. Uh, trash? I'm gonna have to look up what some of this shit is, man, because this game doesn't tell you much. I guess I'm gonna drop another eye drop because I need some fucking space. Night armor. Uh oh. Monsters. Oh, this thing. Uh, not that big of a deal. And ice will kill it. So. In a perfect- I fucking forgot to put Layla in the front row again. God, I am so bad at that. In a perfect world, I'm gonna loot here and pretty much just retreat. It's not the end of the world. Let's make sure Layla's in the front row. Oh wait, hold up. I got armor, that's right. Ooh, probably an upgrade. Pretty big upgrade, I must say. And we have three treasure chests. Oh, I was gonna say, I thought those were Gyguses. I was about to, like, cry. And we're ambushed. Come on. I want to loot and get the fuck out of here. We're running over time again. You know, I'm gonna look up what some of this stuff is now, I guess, while I'm waiting. Elder IQ, heart, FF2, Elder IQ, what is it? Elder IQ, maximizes intelligence for one battle, heart maximizes spirit for one battle, interesting. Would have never guessed that. Whatsoever. Another ice shield. <laughs> God damn, dude. Um. All right. Well. Guess I'll trash it and grab this. Need more inventory. Holy crap. Um. Hmm. Might be dropping something else. I don't know. Well, I guess I could use the potion, right? We might have to drop the, uh... Mithril shield here, because I feel like the ice shield's probably worth more. And uh, maybe I'll equip the ice shield. Nope, it's already equipped. Gold. Fuck. Did my attack go down? I think it did. Come on now. Flamebow. Interesting. Oh. Like that. 
Um. Well, I'll drop the heart just because I read. Yeah, just an elder IQ. All right, guys, I'm gonna have to retreat. And that's fine by me. Um, let's make sure that we heal Laboshi. You know what? Another thing I need to look up. What does Warp do? Warp FF2 Famicom. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I thought so. Warp does the uh, brings you back to the other floor. Exit brings you out completely. So, Warp actually is somewhat useful here and there. Um. But with that being said, guys, I ran well over time again. Seems like we got about maybe midway through that cave. Uh, it's a little tough, I'm not gonna lie. So, what we're gonna do uh, in the next part is we're going to head back to Bofsk, sell a bunch of shit, uh, rest at the inn, and then try to take on the cave one more time. If you guys have been enjoying this playthrough, as well as this particular part, please like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already, and comment. I do my best to reply to all comments and all videos, and I'll see you guys in the next playthrough. Take it easy.